Hey YouTube, Make My Marvel here with a uh, statue unboxing and review. This is the Sideshow Domino Premium Format, the exclusive. Uh, it's an edition size of 1,000 for the exclusive, and I want to say it's number 512. The first number's a little uh, hard to read, but um, let's get it open and take a look. All right, so there's styrofoam. It's one compartment, so we'll get this thing open. Uh, Sideshow's been really killing it lately with their premium formats. Um, and, uh, I've been really looking forward to this Domino statue. I think, uh, you know, I've seen some pictures of it. It looks really phenomenal. So, I've been looking for a good Domino for a while. Uh, so hopefully this one doesn't disappoint. Alright, and there's the base there. Body of Domino looks like a couple of heads and some hands and some other pieces. Start to get this out. All right, so there is the bottom of the base. It is number 512 out of a thousand. See the uh, Domino portrait with the uh, money uh, falling in the background of her ex, and that's the new, like, somewhat of the new Domino uh, name slogan thing. That's kind of what they have for um, on the comic book. Uh, of our newest series. The base is not heavy at all. It's pretty light. You can definitely tell it's hollow. It almost feels actual plasticky. But as far as the detail, man, it's freaking awesome. Real, uh, you know, the plastic here with the actual little tiny holes. So these are real holes. Uh, looks like shattered, you know, glass from, from the bullets flying through it. Uh, with the triple seven behind there for the jackpot, because we all know Domino's mutant power, his uh, his luck and luck manipulation. Really, really cool looking. The money's got you know great color to it, great you know gold token looking stuff. Uh, you can see kind of like uh, Deadpool's mask, I guess, is on some of the back of these coins. And then the money sign on the other. And then all the uh, the shell casings from the bullets mixed in between. Really, really cool looking. Like the Days of Future Cash. You know, a little homage to the Days of Future Past, the X-Men series there. Really cool looking. All right, let's get some more of this because this is really nice. Kind of look at this base all day. Really, really cool. Nice job with the paint. Here is the handle for the slot machine. Um, you can see up on top there. Maybe you can see if it's got a little focus on there. But uh, so it's kind of flattened out there. Um, I think there's a magnet underneath because uh, Domino's foot rests on the on the handle. Um, I'm not sure if to put this in now or put the body on first, so I'm going to leave this off for now um, and then kind of play with it there. Uh, just when I get the body out. All right, and here is Domino's body. Um, really nicely done. There's some blues and blacks in here that, you know, the camera's picking up pretty well. Uh, lots of detail all over the costume. Um you can see the big key there. It's a certain kind of key, so there's no way you can mess up putting her in. It's only going to go in one way. Uh, so let's get her seated on the base. Okay, so once you get her seated on the base, she sits in real nice. I put the uh, handle on. I want to just show you here, so you can definitely tell there's a little magnet in here. Um, it kind of clicks right back on. So there's a nice, nice little magnet holding there, so it shows she touches her foot perfectly. And then in here, it's not really quite a peg. It just, um, you know, it's a little loose fitting. Uh, and there's a little slight little magnet in there. So it holds everything together really nice. Nice design on that part. This looks really, really good. We'll get our hands on, her head on. Well, nobody does portraits like Sideshow. They are untouchable. I mean, this is the regular head. Freaking thing's amazing. Just absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. 
It fits in perfectly too, kind of bringing the front of it first. Just get it to sit underneath there and then let it sit right around the mag, the mag the rest of the way. It just fits in there perfectly. And she is pretty looking. So that's the uh, collector's edition look to it. Eyes are spot on. She looks really good. Got that kind of smirk going as she's sitting on, uh, you know, survived a hail of bullets without anything touching her from her luck powers. Sitting on top of that uh, slot machine. Really, really nice looking. Great statue. Sexy pose. Everything's there on this one. All right, let's put the exclusive stuff on. All right, and there's the exclusive portrait. Uh, this is killer too. Um, same paint, same lipstick, different hair, different um, facial expression. And uh, she's obviously looking to the side on this one. So two different display options. The collector's edition, you can kind of get a, uh, a head head on shot of her. And here you can display her to the side. So again, we're going to put this head on like that. And I'll show you what it looks like. Now, the other exclusive piece is the smoke here. Um, so it's the same gun as the collectors. It's a gun just got a little uh, hole, um, you know, drill, drilled out for the smoke to go into. And here she is blowing the smoke to the side after she just cleared the room, uh, this casino. So here you can see her, you know, if you get the head on shot, the collector's edition will be looking right at you. The exclusive edition, she's looking to the side. So you can display her to the side. Um, either way, it looks fantastic. Great statue, great, great statue. I like how her hair has got that uh, that movement to it. Like she kind of just flipped her head to the side to blow the smoke away. Looks really nice. Really, really nice. see in the holster here how it's got kind of a, a textured plastic look on the holster and then the gun all the little buckles and everything are nice um, glossy black with everything else is matted out a little uh, red x-force x there and i love how she's got the empty holsters you know the uh the underarm holsters because the guns are in her hand, so that's a really nice touch. Good attention to detail. Killer, killer statue. All right, and I got her down there with the rest of the X-Men for now. Um, I may leave her down there. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put her. Um, maybe I'll have to space out the X-Men on the bottom shelf a little bit more. So, uh, you know, they're, they're less crowded on the right-hand side there. But I really like her. She came out really nice. Really, really nice. And I got her first appearance back there. The uh, X-Force 9.8. Um, so, really, really like them. I got, uh, let's see, I got Punisher coming in, I think, uh, next week. The new Punisher Premium format. And uh, Cable, hopefully sometime in November. And then after that, I got one more statue that I've got ordered. That'll be a big surprise one. Uh, I don't want to give that away. It's a custom piece, but I've been really looking forward to it. And uh, and that's it. I mean, I've been kind of getting back and in more into the the comic books. So I don't know how many more stats I'll be getting. Still got a ton of sideshow reward points. So uh, you know, I'll probably get something with those because that'll be pretty much a free statue. But uh, I don't know what yet. I might just save them until something pops up on order that I really want. And I got to do a, uh, a, a room collection tour for you guys as well. Um, but I'm going to wait at least till uh, Punisher and Cable come in as well. All right. Hey, thanks always for watching, guys. I appreciate uh, all the views and, and support and everything. And I uh, hope you enjoy it all. Take care.